सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गोष्ठीपति वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्तबिंद श्रीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्रीनंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदा मनोहर वाछाकुवश की पासीवच पतिता पावने भवैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुकोति वाचाल पंगु लंघति गिरी यत्तमह वंदे परमाधव बृंदावई तुलसीदेव वै पिया वै केशव स्नभक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत् नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुंच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमदाक्ष जगोदरुण ध्येय सदा परिभवन भविष्यदोहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनु तम शरण्यम हेतात्म पुनतपाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुनाथबिंद यत्दपल्लवन खचंदमनीछटाए विस्फुर्जीत कि गवधुषर्ष पूर्णागरसागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा कृपाकोषि श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद श्रीअदगदाधर शिवा सदी गौरभक्तविंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद श्रीअदगदाधर शिवा सदी गौरभक्तविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकर्तन कपितर कमलाशताक्ष विश्वाबर द्विजर जुगधर्म पाल वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणाधारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंदी तो दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनी भावान्ूपेन सदा नरा गंगा तरंगरमणीय जटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषी तवाम भाग नारायण प्रिय मनंगुमदारम भरासीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशजुस्वदने लक्ष्मीश च भक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संबीत सिंह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे तत्साधु मन्य असुर वर्ज देहिना 
सदा समुद्भिघ्नो धियाम सद्ग्रहण हित्वात्पात गृहमंदकूपम बनम गयाद हरिमाश्रय तत्साधु मनेसुरवर्ज देहिना सदा समुद्भिघ्न धियाम सद्गृहा हित्वात्पात गृहमंदकूपम बनम गयाद हरिमाश्रय गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुपा परमंश जगत गुरु सेठ दैट इफ द होल्ड वॉल गोइंग एगेंस्ट मी स्टिल आई कैन नॉट स्टॉप स्पीकिंग अबाउट दैर एब्सल्यूट ट्रूथ स्टैंडिंग अंडर द अम्ब्रेला लाइक लोटस पीट ऑफ गुरुपाद पद्म परमंश गुरुपाद पद्म गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुपा परमंश जगत गुरु सेठ दे I can, if the whole world going against me, still I cannot stop speaking about the absolute truth, standing under the umbrella-like lotus feet of Guru Pad Padmo. I know most of the people on this world, they are not going to accept this absolute truth. This is not the reason for why I can stop speaking about this. Maybe one people in the world, whole world, can accept. That's why. With the basket of truth, we will have to search whole world where who is lying, crying to go to get that absolute truth. That will happen. Those who are speaking about the absolute truth, naturally, they become the target of attack. Whole world can attack. It is naturally. People are naturally against. Absolute truth. Pollard Maharaj, if you search, what problem Pollard Maharaj? Am? If you if you search, what problem Pollard Pollard Maharaj? Am? So that Hirang Hirano Gosibu become very angry. Hirano Gosibu become very angry. Why? What problem Pollard Maharaj? Am? He wanted to speak absolute truth. So long as he was not speaking about the absolute truth, so long as he was not speaking anything, so long as he was not speaking anything, then he was very good. He didn't know to be into taking lap, kiss. Try to understand. So long as Pulladma not speaking anything, then till then he was very good. Father used to take in lap and kiss. But when he started speaking about the absolute truth, then become angry. What is so strange? Then he started speaking about the absolute truth. From then onward, he became enemy. This is a natural. It's quite natural. So Hiranya Gosibu wanted to send Pollad Maharaj to Guru Kul to learn something useful. According to the estimation of material, useful means economics, politics, sociology, all everything, so that it can come into use in our, you know, political level everywhere. So we are maintaining the kingdom. So Prahlad Maharaj wanted wanted to actually Hiranya Gosibu wanted to send him to Guru Kul. Guru Kul means actually. Demon, they are demon actually. Sukra Chajjo is the Acharya of demon. Sukra Chajjo is the Acharya of demon. Those who are demon. And the name Sukra Chajjo, Baba is explaining. The name Sukra Chajjo, how this name coming? Sukra Chajjo. In Bengali or Sanskrit, we say Janon Acharya. That means is very much. Interested very much, efficient in material life. I should not speak clearly. It's very <laughs> so. He is busy with body, mind, man, woman, good, bad. This is his busy. That's why his name is Sukro Acharya. He can advise 
all about material thing, not anything about spiritual matter. I mean, development of your consciousness cannot. He can only advise about material thing, that's why very important Acharya in the demonic society. So he is going to send Pralatma naturally. If father like father like son, we hear him. But sometimes it happens opposite. Not always it is applicable. So Pralatma Maharaj enjoying the keep of Naraji Maharaj. So how he can expect this kind of behavior? But still he will have to hear because small boy, father sending to Gurukul. They are this they are the two son of Sukracharjo. Sondo Amarko. They are teaching always about material things. But Prahladma is not going to accept it. They are teaching. In the class, all Osurva is there. is teaching, but Prahladma is not accepting. He keeps silence, not accepting, not protesting because small boy, how can protest? So, this way he was trained up according to their calculation. Finally, he was taken in front of father, I mean, Hiranyagosibu. Of course, Pradhatma never told, he is my father, not speaking. So, Pradhat Maharaj was taken in front of Hiranyagosibu. Hiranyagosibu taking testing, how much, how far he is educated. Then a small boy, not put, not going to put any specific question, not going to put any specific because he can feel nervous. Small boy, so what you have learned in your guru, guru cool. Anything good you can speak to me. What you like from your guru, not guru cool, from your guru. Pralatma is thinking, my guru is actually Pralatma. And Hiranyagosibu thinking my Gurudev, his Gurudev is Sondo Amarko. There is confusion. Hiranyagosibu thinking, I am sending to Gurukul, I mean to Guru, Sondo Amarko, teaching. But Prabhupada is thinking, my Hiranyagosibu asking, what you learn from your Guru? The my Guru is actually Naraji Maharaj. So why not I speak the absolute truth? Then started speaking this sloka. Tatsad mannehe asura varjo dehi nam, sada samud bhigna dhiya asad gurhad, hitvat patam grihamand kupam banam gata hayad harimasraya. He is speaking in front of king. Tatsad mannehe asura varjo dehi nam. He is not speaking father. He is so clever, he is not speaking father. He is speaking Asura Varjo, the topmost of Asura Kula. That means how much, how much you have fallen. In Asura Kula, if somebody is topmost, you are topmost Asur, that means topmost fallen. So he is not speaking father, he is speaking Tatsadu Manne, you are asking what, you, what, I, uh, what I learned good. So I think Tatsadu Manne, Asura Varjo Dehina. He Asura Sreshto, topmost Asur. I think it good that those who are taking this human body, for them, I suggest they can avoid leading this kind of tensionful material life and go to forest and concentrate unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan. Tatsad Manne Asura Varja Dehinam. Sada samud bhigna diya. Always some kind of tension there. Always some or other kind of tension always pulled up. No man you can find who is free of tension. Because they have second avinivesh, dhitiya avinivesh. That's why they are full of tension. So, Pulladma speaking, you are asking me what lesson I have taken from my Guru. I think it is good. Tat sadhu mannehe asura varja dehinam sada samud bhigna dhiyam asad grahad. Like material people, 
due to different star position. Some astrologers are there, they are calculating. This star position here, here, so you will have to take diamond, you will have to take casserite, this way they are calculating. But their calculating can come to zero level. When one Vaishnava is doing Vajan, then all the astrological conditions are there and can make a new thing. In the life of Prabhupada, in the life of Jajavar Goswami Maharaj, a father of Jajavar Goswami Maharaj was a big astrologer, famous Brahman, Urisha Brahman. He told, you will have to, because Jajavar Maharaj was taking plan to come to do bhajan. The father speaking, speaking, you cannot do bhajan. You will have to marry. I cannot marry. You will have to marry, double marry. You will have to double marry. Double marry. It is written in your start for this. Okay. Jayavad Goswami left home, came to Prabhupada, and uh, paying Dandavat by looking, Prabhupada understand heart. After that, taking Harinam, Diksha, everything. But Jayavad Goswami are requesting Prabhupada, speaking, that my father is a big astrologer. He told, I will, I will have to marry. So what to do? If I take Diksha, I can stay in ashram or not? Uh, because renounce order, I am staying. Jajavar Goswami, Jajavar Goswami are speaking this way. And Prabhupada only smiling, not speaking anything. Prabhupada only smiling and speaking, let me see. Not speaking anything, let me see. Yeah. Jajavar Goswami are speaking, my father told, I will have to double marry. Let me see, nothing else. After that gone, before Prabhupada gone, he was the last man to take sannyas. The Prabhupada was over sanguine, there is no question of marriage. Whereas there is 100 percent there. Was. In our Guru Maharaj, Guru Maharaj used to say, I can live up to 60, 62, 65. After that, uh, astrological calculation, this gone up to 102 years. So, astrological condition, oh, it is not bad. It is coming for also Veda. But it not working properly. In devotional world, it's totally separate calculation. So, Prahlad Mara speaking, they are according to star position, people are feeling disgusted, feeling problem, very heavy. Because Saturn is there, they are economical condition, all everything bad, Mangal, Mars, these that they are feeling big problem. But those who are doing Hari Bhajan, doing Hari Nam, this is not applicable. This is not applicable. The ten star, you are calculating about, about nine, nine star. You are calculating nine star, but the ten star Krishna, ten star Krishna is, you know, there, who is going to look at you, then no father can do. What can do? Rahu, Ketu, Mars, these, that, what they can do. So, Prahlad Maharaj is fearless. Just Popa told, na, to speak about the absolute truth, Prahlad Maharaj is not fearing. My father is demon, can, can kill me. He is fearless, this small voice speaking. This smartly speaking. The, I think it is good. For, because uh, this uh, society, all people, they are according to their stunt position, they are feeling anxiety and tension all the time. So better, this family life is one kind of blind well. Blind well, you know? Blind well, where water is not available. Well, you know? Well, where water is available. Palladma speaking, your family life is one, one kind of blind well. So better come out of that well and go to uh, one, you know, Banam Gata Hayad Harimas To go to avoid bad association and to stay with. Actually, meaning I can speak after. Because Banam means forest. So everybody can calculate. Prahlad Maharaj is Acharya. He told us to go to forest. So why should I arrange this kind of assembly? This better we can go to forest. They can calculate this way. Actually, this is not the meaning. What Pallad Maharaj wanted to say, according to Shastra, literal meaning, 
literal meaning of forest is literal meaning of burn means forest literal meaning of burn is forest but what krishna bhagwan told to uddha that we will have to consider what krishna bhagwan told to uddha banam tu satyakam bhasam rajasam gram uchyate tamasam dut sadanam man niketanastu nirgunam bhagwan sri krishna wanted to explain ban ban mean not forest you think ban means forest maybe 10 10 12 days ago i already explained if you like to go to forest you are surely going to forest with your material mind material body same problem can be if you go to forest to avoid problem if you like to avoid all problem and go to forest you can go but anyway you are going to forest with your material mind and material body so material body material mind is the main problem you are going to carry all these two disease with you in the forest who can cure you same thing na maybe physically you are away from bad association maybe physically you are away from bad association but mentally you are doing bad association physically you are away from bad association but mentally you are doing it but who can stop you so mental bad association is very dangerous all the time very dangerous this way you can find no way out physically if you go to forest no so that's why krishna bhagwan speaking banam tu satyakam bhasam to stay in forest i mean to say to stay in forest i mean to say to stay with all sadhu guru vaishnav to stay in forest i wanted to say to stay in forest mean to stay with sadhu guru vaishnav who can speak always hari katha kirtan that is that i wanted to say banam tu satyakan bad and rajasam rajo rajasam gram uchate in village all material interest material enjoyment banam to satyakam bhasam and rajasam gram uchate to stay in gram and in bhagavatam glorification it is written the sadhu guru vishnu they can i mean not genuine sadhu guru vishnu those who are externally sadhu guru they most of them they like to stay in 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 material field so that they can enjoy all material enjoyment at the same same time they can so we are doing bhajan bhagavat glorification it is written most of them can prefer to stay in such a place where all enjoyment available rajasam gram uchate ah they are doing harinam also doing ah, at the same time you can they can get sensual gratification or both who is going to check up because ah because without pure guru vishnu nobody can arrest nobody can speak so many cases around in binda in our mayapur i can in mayapur i can show you one sanyasi for the past 25 years or 26 years staying with woman nobody speaking but if you speak about prabhupad they can attack you they are not speaking even one society make some agreement after you die you can give the temple to to us follow this is a condition no body there who can complain why you do but at the time of propat it was at the time of bhakti mr thakur at the time of you know gorang mahapu that was not such there is the condition so rajasam gram uchate atamasam duta sadanam tamas tamas bas mane you understand sato rajo tamo tamas bas mean to play gambling gambling taking wine this that intoxication different kind of you know drug everything this kind of thing tamavas which can which can decrease your consciousness why any kind of intoxication is very dangerous and very offensive because you are going to throw is yourself into hell 
Because if you drink in Bhagavad meditation, then your consciousness can come later. So this kind of people are dangerous. Consciousness is not good. So, Banam tu Satyakam Basam, Rajasam Gramo Chati, Tamasam Duto Sadhanam, this kind of lifestyle those prefer. They are Tamagun, they are leading life according to Tamagun. Yeah. And Bhagavan speaking, those who are staying in my place, those who are staying in my place, where I have done some Leela, where there is temple uh, established by one great personality, not by ordinary personality. Bonded soul, if going to establish temple, that temple is not at all temple. One bonded soul, if going to establish one temple, deity, you need not go there. Try to avoid. Ramanusha just told. That is not. So, Bhagavan speaking, if somebody is going to stay in my place, my Rilastali, my Abhirva place like Mathura, uh, Mayapur, uh, Navadip, then it is Satyik, but with heart and mind, not physically. So, those Physically, so many people, physically, so many people staying there in Dhamma. So many you can do, hostel, uh, you know, so many things you can find. Even wine is also available, very much, very much, all around. Wine available, government giving license. This is the condition. So, Bhagavan speaking, those who are staying in my place, suppose you are staying in Godroom, but not physically, with heart and mind, totally you are staying, concentrated. And then you can, then it is called Nirgun. Mane Satarajo Tamo, this material you know, nature cannot affect you. So, Prahladma speaking, Prahladma not giving us advice to go to forest. Banam to Satyakam Basam mean, Banavas mean, you will have to avoid our material association, Asasanga, and to stay only with pure Sadhguru Vaishnava, if not physically possible, at least mentally. Mentally possible, you will have to do your bhajan this way. Many such words you can find in English or in other language, literal meaning speaking something, but inner meaning is something else. That's why translation of translation of Bhagavatam or anything is almost impossible. But still we'll have to do. Like you know philosophy. You know philosophy. Euro European society, I mean, they know philosophy. But what what is the what is the meaning of philosophy? If you ask them, and same translation, you are going darshan. We are using the darshan. We are using this word darshan. But darshan word is totally different. What they mean to say, what they mean to say, philosophy, that meaning is not applicable here. Their calculation is philosophy is some sort of mentally concocted, ah, some nice decorated word. But as per our darshan, it is practical. You make a blunder mistake, you don't know, our darshan sattva means what is, what is actual true. That is called darshan. Our, as per our bhajan, as per our Vaishnava darshan, as per our Vaishnava darshan, our darshan means practically. What is eternally truth? To see this. That is called darshan. Even in our society, those writers, those who are using darshan, that darshan is not perfectly that darshan. Some writer writing darshanic, this, that philosophy, that also cannot be, you know, identified as darshan. As per our Vaidik, as per our Vaishnava uh, Shastra, darshan means practical. You open your eyes and try to see the absolute truth. That is called darshan. So anyway, Pallad Maharaj is uh, speaking this way. I think it good if this bonded soul come out of this blind, well-like, blind, well-like family life and go out and go for Hari Bhajan. 
Hiranya Gosubu become very angry. Hiranya Gosubu become very offended. He become very angry with all Sandhya Amarko. What kind of teaching you are giving? So that my son speaking this way. Hiranya Gosubu asking this way angry. But Prahlad Mahara actually Sandhya Amarko speaking. Believe us, we are not teaching this way. Then where from this boy learning? We don't know. There is no scope in our Gurukul. There is no scope in our Gurukul to go outside and take bad association. According to their calculation, it is bad association. That's why they are learning about Bhagavan. Like Muslim people speaking. You throw Haridas into Ganga as a very as punishment, big punishment. You throw Haridas into Ganga after beating. So according to them, so Sandra Margo speaking, we are not teaching this way. How he is learning, we don't know. Naishargi ki yam matiraswarajan. Naturally from birth, this kind of nature. We don't know where from he is learning. So this way Hiranagosabhu cannot have. So in our society, in our even in our bhajan life, bhajan field, you can find that Pope is speaking about the absolute truth, but most of the people like to avoid him. Then also, when Prabhupada was doing manifesting Leela, because Pope is speaking about the absolute truth, so many group become angry, like to kill him. So you should not keep any connection with anybody. Those who are completely going against Bhajan. Okay. Barbali speaking, not speaking so much, not doing so much, uh, still then you can try to change them. I cannot say you can throw them. But when totally opposite, totally opposite, in that case Bhakti Mahatma told there is no, no, no reason to keep any. Like Ramanu Chajju, when he was, when he could realize that wife is, wife is always against. But Totally against, even going to do offense at the lotus feet of Gurudev, my Gurudev, speaking all rubbish, he is from low caste. Then Ramanuchaja could not be here. Then Ramanuchaja took action, left. So there is so many sloka. Guru no sasyat, sajjanu no sasyat, eh? pita no sasyat, sajjanani no sasyat, daivam no tachyat. It is the advice in Bhagavatam. He is not Guru who is not going to guide me properly. He is not Guru, whatever facility he is giving me. But he is going to, going to send me to hell. Guru na sasyat. He is not surely not Guru. 100% he is not Guru. But in the form of Guru. Guru na sasyat. Sajjano, he is not my dear and near one. Guru no sasya, Sajjano no sasya. Pita no sasya, he is not my father. Like Prahlad Maharaj wanted to avoid father, not. Pita no sasya. Sajjano no sasya, he is, she is not my father, who is totally going against. Not. Adhoibam na satsat, that demigod is not demigod. That husband is not husband. Who is going to send me to hell? No, I mean not going to allow me to do Hari Bhajan. Uh, you have no connection with me. I have done any, no, no problem. I have done no problem. You stay, you take you, whatever you like you do. We are not going to speak. How you can throw the midanga into dustbin? Impossible. What problem? Midanga, what? Midango biting you or what? It is in one, one place. Midango came in one place. Some, some, sometime I can take it away. That doesn't mean that Nityananda Balaram, Midanga, you can throw into dustbin. What is this? This cannot be tolerated. Okay, you keep the Midango in place. Sometime I can come or somebody can come and take it away. This is offensive. This offense cannot be tolerated. So this way, 
even husband, even father, mother, we cannot tolerate. So, Pallad Maharaj, we, Pallad Maharaj is the Acharya. Smaran, Pallad Maharaj is Smaran Bhakti Acharya, na? Smaran. So, he is going to te teach us this way, how to avoid. So, we are now going through this, you know, Oh, we are discussing this way. Bingo. So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna advising, Bhagavan Sri Krishna giving advice to Uddhav. Uddhav now, so many, so many advice given, I already told. Uddhav now in confusion, you told about uh, how to do karma, after they told jnana, after that now speaking, uh, you leave everything and come to my shelter. Then I don't understand what to do. I am in confusion. So, tasmad tvam uddhava usrijya chodhanam prati chodhanam prabhittincha nibhittincha satabhyam srutameva cha mameva Mam ekam eva saranam atmanam sarvadehinam jahi sarvatma bhavena maya sha hi akuto bhaya. If you want to become fearless, if you want to become totally fearless, so you will have to leave everything and now you take shelter unto my lotus feet. That is the final teaching. Now Uddhav started speaking. Sangsayaha srinnato bacham tava jogeswareswara. You are jogeswareswara. All big, big yogi. Shankar Bhagavan is big yogi. You are jogeswareswara. Those who are yogi, Shankar Bhagavan is jogeswar. Shankar Bhagavan is jogeswar. Shankar Bhagavan can bless you and you can grow yoga. That Shankar Bhagavan is jogeswar. But you are Joge Swareswar. You are Joge Swareswar. Even Joga Joge Ishwar. For them, you are Ishwar of them. Many all yoga, everything coming from you. All yoga, everything coming from you. So Sangsayaha Srinatu Vacham Tabu Joge Swareswara no nivartato atmasto jeno brahmati me manaha. My mind is now in confusion. So what to accept, what not to accept. Sometimes you are speaking this, sometimes that, sometimes this. What to follow? Especially uh, from birth, we are in Vedic society. Usually, we are taking birth in Vedic society. Anyway, maybe our father, mother previously not doing uh, so much Hari Bhajan, like, you know, uh, Atma Dharma, Sanatana Dharma, but still they used to pray pranam, go to mandir, offer different ritualistic activities. They used to do, at least they used to follow general, general Dharma. So according to that, because it is also written in Vedic culture, it is also written. All general things, also special things, both written. According to capacity, people can accept. Somebody can answer, why in Veda so, so many things written? Even Ayurveda, even Dhanurveda, Arch, everything you can learn, all Veda. That doesn't mean you can start, you know, Ayurveda, or Astrology, everything. See, it's written. For according to Adhikar, according to great, according to their right, they can accept. At least they can go one step. Suppose your baby growing up, he always like to uh, come in the lab. So you are teaching her, teaching him to learn. They're not ready. At least one leg, two leg, one step, two step. After that, uh, sitting and crying, take me in lab. It can happen so. But still, at least one or two step, he is practicing. Otherwise, he cannot do, na? So, something is better than nothing. Something is better than nothing. You can, okay. Suppose your wife doing nothing. At least not going to hate you. 
not going to throw Bhagavan. Some family there, they are going throwing salogram like stone. Huh? Useless. Go oh, outside. <laughs> they are going to throw salogram. All useless. All. Bhajana. Schizophrenia. They are speaking schizophrenia. It is one kind of a mental disease. They say, oh, go outside. At least not doing so. At least not doing to throw the picture of Guru Vaishnava. Okay. It's not doing, not going against, okay, it's me. At least uh, prasadam, if you're not going to throw prasadam, at least checking. This is also good. But some family I know, totally against. Beating husband, beating husband, with chapel. Crying in front of me, Maharaj. This happened. After that, one master from Bombay, very nice devotee, mathematics master in school used to do in Bombay. He started crying in front of me and blasted into tears and speaking. My wife, my daughter, they're all against me. They don't allow me anything. Even they like to contaminate, they like to throw everything. Speaking all rubbish because I'm not going to take them in, in, uh, in restaurants here, there. They become very angry. So, Finally, what happened? They are speaking all rubbish, throwing all chapel to husband. Finally, what happened? That wife developed cancer. In such a place, the doctor, doctor, their father cannot cure. No medicine can. Then in hospital, master speaking every day, while going to hospital, I am going to carry uh, you know, whatever I cook, and going to give medicine, meet with my wife to hospital and go to my class. Again, while coming, finally, before death, that wife speaking, I beg for pardon, whatever you have done, it is right. I have done wrong. Whole life I have done wrong. But after that time, no way out. He was bound to die. They died. So, very dangerous. So, now actually, Uddhav speaking, hey, you are Jogeshwareswar. You are Jogeshwareswar. Jogeshwar. Shankar Bhagavan, or oh, the big, big Jogeshwar. But you are Jogeshwareshwar. But my mind is now in confusion what to do. I mean, Bhagavan Sri Krishna could realize, Bhagavan Sri Krishna could realize Uddhav is now in confusion because he is thinking that I am going to leave all, uh, I am going to uh, advise him to avoid Veda. Uddhav is now in confusion because maybe Uddhav thinking, I wanted to advise him to leave Veda's Vedic instruction, everything. So, if I am, if I am successful to prove, if I am successful to prove that Veda and I myself non-different, Veda and I I myself all same. Then maybe Uddhav can get some stability. Follow. In Bhagavatam we know Vedasya Ishwar Atmatvat. Vedasya Ishwar Atmatvat Tattam Yanti Suraiho. In Bhagavatam it is written Vedasya Ishwar Atmatvat. Atat Ved and Bhagavan non different from each other. What is Ved? That is Bhagavan. That's why big, big Manirishi, all big, big, they become, they cannot take any decision, perfect, regarding bathing instruction. Oh, it is written this, it is written this. Another sadhu, no, 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 it is not this, it is written this. My confusion. Confusing. Look, nobody can come into proper conclusion, proper conclusion. There's the same thing Mahaprabhu wanted to speak to Sarvabhum Vattajaj. Or uh, Prakasananda Saraswati also. What is written in Veda, this, that, it is really impossible to realize. Many people are writing commentary on Veda. They are writing. Many. But Mahaprabhu speaking, Veda, Vedanta, all written by Vyasdev Goswami, who is Shaktabhi Sabhatar Bhagavan himself. 
So what he so what he meant to say, so what he meant to say, only he can understand. What he meant to say, only he can understand. All other people out of you know, assumption like to make something, it is wrong. And those who are totally harmonized with Vyasadeva, those who are totally harmonized with the heart of Vyasadeva, they can understand. That is possible. Otherwise, how you can understand? So, assumption is not good. Shankarajaju wanted to apply his assumption. Anuman. Oh, it's me. Of course, according to the instruction of Bhagavan. You will have to establish, you will have to establish Sarirak Vasya. You will have to establish Sarirak Vasya, Mayavad Vasya. So that I can put all those demonic character public into confusion. So that they cannot come to disturb in my bhajan field. This is condition. So, assumption not applicable. So, Bhagavan thinking, maybe Uddhav now going to misunderstand me actually. actually by the inspiration of Krishna. Don't think that Uddhav is totally enjoying the keep of Krishna. But now you can say, then how you can analyze? That question is right. But I told you repeatedly, this is the planning of Bhagavan. This is the game of Bhagavan. If Bhagavan is not going to, you know, giving inspiration that way, then all answer cannot come. This you should understand. Don't think the Uddhav you told, whereas Bhagavan already told, I, whereas Bhagavan already told, there is no gapping between me and Uddhav, even one atomic gapping is not there. Then how is possible? The Uddhav cannot understand. This question naturally can come. Common people. No Uddhavo, no Uddhavo Anupi Mannuno. Uddhavo and I myself identical, same. Then how Uddhavo develop this kind? If Uddhav not going to think that way, not going to put question that way, then Bhagavan Sri Krishna cannot get any scope to speak all in details. That is the reason, nothing else, a secrecy. Anyway, Bhagavan Ubacho, Bhagavan now thinking, if I can prove somehow that I myself and Veda are non-different from each other, then maybe Uddhav can get some consolation. This way, Bhagavan Sri Krishna started speaking all about the secrecy. Follow. This way Bhagavan started speaking all in details. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, Uddhav, how this Vedic knowledge, everything coming? Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, you see, like in a wooden piece, wooden thing, wooden log, dry wooden log, long time. Inside wooden log, there is fire. How fire? We cannot see any fire. Fire is there. For a long time, the tree was taking the sun, light, and acquiring all, is everything inside. But externally, you cannot find. Externally, you cannot find. So, inside wooden piece, there is iron. There is fire. Inside petroleum or any, you know, kerosene or petrol product, fire is there, but you cannot discover. Bhagavan Sri Krishna is seeking that in the first stage, in the first stage, fire is there inside the space of that wooden layer. There is space. Any object, according to the, their density, Space is there, also space is there, inside the space is there. But we cannot say, so dense. So, it depends upon the density. Even within iron there is also space, but very small. Air is space is there. So, Bhagavan speaking, Uddhav, inside a wooden log, there is, fire is there, by hidden form. 
But when you can take two wooden log, and it happens sometime in forest also, in our country, uh, forest here, Vrindavan also, so dry, 48, 50, this year in Delhi, 52 degree temperature, 52, so high. I was there, 48, all body red, any amount of water drinking, all vaporized. That time, we have seen two trees, dry tree, due to wind blow, friction, very hot wind blow, very hot, like fire coming in the body, friction. After that, suddenly a spark develop and somehow the spark come in contact with dry leaf or something, then the whole fire started and this fire now increasing and increasing and going to grab the whole garden, I mean the jungle. Very dangerous. Total. And only and only after whole, you know, garden, I mean where, where the tree is, it can burn the whole space, after that can get peace, santi. That can pacify. Otherwise not. So Bhagavan speaking, the how Uddhav Beth came, you know, Para, Pashanti, Madhyama, Baikhari, this is going to explain. This, I know it is very typical for you to understand. But still I can try to explain very easy way. Like the fire, I know, first of all, fire is there inside. After that, you are taking trouble to friction. So fire is there inside. Even inside your body, fire is there. Even inside everybody, fire is there. If fire is there, not there, how you are digesting your uh, chapati, ruti, everything? Bhagavan speaking in Gita. Bhagavan speaking clearly. I am there inside everybody, air Vaishanar fire, Vaishanar Agni. Bhagavan speaking in Gita, I am inside the body of everybody. As a fire, Vaishanar, we can digest, help you digest all what you are taking, chapati, chana rasa, everything, all you get, <laughs> or can digest. Paramano, sweet ball, all. is already digesting, but unknowingly. You don't know. You take prasad and go on doing seva, but automatically. You are not going to take any special initiative. You see, you try to concentrate. How magic spell? It's an automatic. You are not taking initiative to digest anything. Automatic. Your heartbeat, when you took birth from your mother's womb, the heart, dog, dog, dog going on. Up to the last. Who is playing this heart? Nobody playing this heart. Automatically, heart going on. Dog, dog. The day it's going to stop working, the last. The day going to stop working, the last. The how automatically Bhagavan, still they cannot realize there is an arrangement of Bhagavan. Still after so many things, practically you can watch, but still after that. Bhagavan speaking, inside everybody, I am staying in the form of Vaishanar. Name of the fire is Vaishanar Agni. Pachami, I am going to digest all sweet, bitter, uh, and chili, everything. Bhagavan speaking. So this way, fire is already there inside that wooden log, but fire we cannot see. So Bhagavan speaking, when you can uh, friction two log, two wooden log, two wooden log you are friction. Due to friction, some heat can arise. You are also the, the hot heat can arise. So this is the second stage. First stage is fire is there inside log, in some. <clears throat> after that you friction, after that can little bit you can feel hot. Hot. After that, due to friction, some spark can come out, and after the spark getting in touch with some, some dry things, then it can take a big form. Follow. So first is hidden form, second is, you know, 
First in hidden form. Second is a little bit hot. Third is spark. After that, spark in contact with inflammable object like ghee, <coughs> butter, or <coughs> anything inflammable, kerosene or petroleum can take a huge. In in our Calcutta, Dalhousie Square, near Writers Building. That time I was there. Home. One day one one thing happened. One petroleum car, money full of tanky petroleum, and is moving somehow due to friction. How I know fire? That petroleum tank burst, a building all there burst, total burn. So many uh, water, you uh, know, cannon. They are using carbon dioxide actually because this. Water can vaporize because when petrol burning, the heat capacity is so high. It is not like you are cooking with a fire. Heat heat capacity not same. What you are cooking with a fire, that heat capacity not so high. It depends. Petroleum or this so heat capacity so high. And in Sun God there is so high. You know even beyond our calculation, how we can calculate. So this way, Bhagwan speaking. Vedas are expressing this way. Vedas, Uddhav, Vedas are expressing first a secret form, and after that, Bhagavan speaking, Sha Esha Jiva Vibara Prasatihi Pranena Ghoshena Guhan Pravishtaha Mano Mayam Shuksham Upetta Rupam Matra Swaru Varno Iti Stavishtaha. What speaking? Bhagwan speaking. Bhagwan speaking. Bhagwan speaking. That I am going to advise you to take shelter of that Paramatma. Paramatma Saran. Paramatma I, myself. That Paramatma inside the heart of body, living with Jivatma, both of them, na? Upanishad, what speaking? Upanishad, Shetashatar Upanishad, Shetashatar Upanishad, what speaking? Two birds are there, living in the body. Body can be compared with a tree. And in Gita also, this kind of bichar you can find. In Gita, Bhagavan speaking, this whole material world, Bhagavan speaking, this whole material world is one kind of tree. Bhagavan speaking. Directly written, Urdha Moolam Adho Shakham. Here in the material world you can find the tree root is down. Here all tree, you can find roots are down and the branches and the leaf are up. But Bhagavan speaking, the material samsar, material samsar, this is also one kind of tree. But the difference is that, that root is up. To me, and the branches are down. Urdha mulam adhoswakam. Bhagavan speaking. This family, family, this material world, all is family, all going on. This is one kind of tree. But their root is there up, because I am the root cause, and the branches are down. Urdha mulam adhoswakam. Bhagavan speaking. And how you can compare with tree? Yes. This tree is full of fruits. Fruits mean? Fruits mean good or bad, lucrative or you can heat, you can hate something, you can like, like and this, all different fruits. Out of your family life, try to understand how you are leading family life. I am not speaking, you throw everything, go away. What I mean to say, try to realize the point. You are leading family life. Like, for why? To get some. Fruit. Fruit means not the apple and pineapple, not that. You are leading your life. You want to ensure your enjoyment, your future, all this one kind of fruit. You are earning money, keeping in bank with some idea. You are 
getting some pain and pleasure. So this material world, so this material world can be compared with a tree, Bhagavan speaking, Urdhva Mulam Adoshakam. And here the pain and pleasure, enjoyment and sorrow, all one kind of fruits. All here. Yeah. Uh, jivas are taking the fruits and eating. Eating, na? Bhagavan giving this example in Sheta Satur Upanishad. That two birds are sitting inside that your body can be compared with trees. Because you are going to derive all pain and pleasure, everything. So, Bhagavan speaking, two birds are sitting in the branches of the tree. One bird not taking any fruits, one bird not taking any fruits, nothing. One bird not taking anything. Only sitting and watching. Only sitting and watching the activities of of that Jivatma. And another, I mean the Jivatma, he cannot realize my friend is there watching me. Like you cannot understand that Paramatma is there. You think you are enjoying liberty, whatever you like you can do. That is your feeling. You cannot realize the Paramatma is sitting. Impossible for you. So, another bird always going to, or another bird always going to eat the fruits of these trees. Good and bad, eh? pain and pleasure, all into the tree. And Paramatma, that Bhagavan, that another bird, not eating anything, only watching what my friend, what my friend doing. Friend don't know, that friend, I mean Jivatma don't know, he is my bluesome friend. That is a tragedy. Paramatma is there, friend. Friend forever. Not that the friendship is only for one year or one month, not that. Forever, infinitely pure, friendship is. But we will have to discover it. Follow. So, that friend watching, I mean Paramatma watching, how painful the situation of Jivatma. Why you are suffering this? I never told you to suffer. I am your friend. You come to me. Immediately you can solve this problem. But Jivatma cannot realize that friend is there inside. Cannot realize. So, by the help of some <coughs> Some people are there, those who are not initiated, but still they have some good and bad idea. This good, this bad. They are not initiated. Absolute thing they don't understand, but still they know. Their ethical character, everything which has got no value in bhajan line, or can be, val can be valuable if you are doing bhajan. So, some of them, by judgment, this is not good. I should not do it. They cannot. They can remain absent from doing it. But some of them, they cannot stop themselves from doing it. They go, Durjodhan. Like the case of Durjodhan. Durjodhan is not a devotee. Durjodhan is bonded soul. Even the, he is the avatar of Kali. Durjodhan is the avatar, incarnation of Kali. It is written in Shastra. Durjodhan is the incarnation of Kali. Kali took the form of so, Durjodhan is there. He is getting the association of his you know, grandfather, Pitama Vishwa. Not. Pitama Vishwa is there. Shangamin, I told, to exchange Priti, loveful, he is not doing. Pitama Vishwa is a great devotee, is there. But he is not going to do. So, Durjodhan. Don't understand what is good and all he is speaking, I realize, but I cannot stop myself from doing it. In front of Krishna, before living body, in front of Krishna, before living body, Durjodhan was bound to speak one thing. That I know what is bad. Janami dharmam. Janami dharmam. I know what is dharma. 
Duryodhana speaking to Krishna, I know what is dharma, but I have no test. I am not getting any test. Suppose somebody is Sankirtan going on, they cannot get any test. Because he is driven by some, some, some maya. In nature. Amrita Sankirtan going on, driven by some devil, driven by some devil, he don't like. Similarly, Durjodhan speaking, Janami dharmam na chame prabritti, Janami adharmam na chame nivritti, Taya risike shahidi sthite no, Yatha nijukta osmi tatha karomi. I know it is dharma, but I, have, I am not feeling any test. I know this is adharma, I should not do, but I cannot stop. I know it is adharma, I should not do it, but I cannot stop myself. I am bound to. That's the same question Arjun wanted to speak to Krishna in Gita. Athok kena prajuktvayam, athok kena prajuktvayam papan charati purushaha. Who is the driving force inside you? They don't like to do bad, but still doing bad. Athok kena prajuktvayam papam charati purushaha anishan nopi varsyo baladi vanyo As if somebody is going to engage forcefully in the bad activity. How is possible? So Arjun speaking this thing, I know dharma, but I am not feeling any test. I know what is dharma, but I am not feeling it. I know adharma, I should not do it, but I cannot stop myself. According to previous sanskar, all jivas are bound to follow their sanskar. All jivas, they are bound to follow their sanskar. They are bound to follow. But they think we are doing. But sanskar means prakriti. Sanskar means ki? Prakriti. Or kya? That's why Bhagavan say, saying, prakriti kriyamanani guno karmair avasaha. Prakriti kriyamanani. All nature going to engage you. Your nature going to engage you in wrong and right activities. Your na you don't know. You think you are doing. Your secret sanskar going to give a driving force. Prakate kya manani. Guno karmair avasaha. Ahankara bimuratma karta ahamitima. I am the doer. I am the enjoyer. Jiva is thinking, I am the doer, but he is not doer. Because I mean actually Atma. I mean not body, na. I myself mean what is a self, real self is Atma. But now going to identify himself with this body related surrounding. So Bhagavan speaking, <coughs> actually Prakriti. His nature, his sanskar going to drive, give is one kind of driving force, but he cannot understand. Prakete kriyamanan, guno karmero, he is bound to follow. As if somebody can do it, do it, do it, do it, he is bound to do bad thing. Our ahankar due to false ego, due to all false ego, Jivatma speaking, I have done. Jivatma speaking, I have done. Jivatma speaking, doership. So, <coughs> this way, if you calculate, then sometime unwillingly, we are bound to do something. I don't like, but still I am bound to do. As if some driving force is there. That is my previous sanskar. Kama esho, krodh esho, rajo guno samad bhavaha, Mahasano Mahapapna Vidyana Menam Bhairana. No, you are searching enemy outside. You are searching enemy outside. The enemy is there inside you. Bhagavan begins, Arjuna asking, who is the enemy? Who is going to do it? No enemy. Actually, your sanskar, Kama Esha, Krodha Esha, Rajaguna Samad Babaha, Mahasano Mahapapna Vidyana Menam Bhairana. Is your enemy going to drive you? So you are bound to do all wrong things. So now I can go on speaking how Veda originally from Bhagavan coming in the naval part of 
Brahma, how going to go up? And now here Bhagavan speaking in each and every body. Sa esa jiva prabara prasitihi prayena ghosena guhaṁ pravishtaha manomayam shuksham upetta rūpam matra saru varno itishtavishtaha. Bhagavan speaking, in six, there is six chakra, saru chakra in the body, from muladhar, here, one joint, where the spinal cord starting, here there is one chakra, after that arm, after the navel portion, after here, after here, after here, after here. Six chakra. How Bhagavan speaking, in different six chakra, Paramatma walking. It's fine technology. It's very typical. You cannot feel any interest. Ah, so typical. But still we'll have to do. You cannot stop. So next, tomorrow, I can discuss all this thing so that uh, it is, you know, understandable, very easy way. So that... So, tat sadhu mannehi asura varja dehi nam sada samud bhigna dhiya masad grahad hitvatva patam griham andakupam banam gataha yad harima asrayet vanchakalpadarusikipasindipatitanam pavanam bhavishna bhyo namo